Joining me now, Ilaria Baldwin. And firstly, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. We were so happy to see the news. Pregnant again. Pregnant again, I know. It's, <laughs> uh, but no, we're really, we're really excited. We just passed the mark of when we lost the last baby. Mm. And I am usually somebody that I share super early on. And this time, I think because it happened so soon after the last one, I just kind of had to collect my thoughts over, you know, what, what was, what, how I was feeling and, you know, the ups and downs of my emotions from, from what had just happened. And then all of a sudden there's the coronavirus and I wouldn't be very, you know, respectful not to turn the conversation to myself. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And also, um, some of my friends just said, you know what, there's a lot of bad news out there right now and people are really sad and it's not a bad thing. Ilari, if you want to share some good news, it's actually going to cheer some people up. And yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. So we're expecting um, sometime in September. Okay. Are you going to reveal gender or anything like that? I am. I'm gonna. So it's been interesting right now because you can't receive the same medical treatment that you right. typically do. Right. I did go to the doctor yesterday because they were very firm with me that they wanted to see me right after I had lost the last one. And, um, and so we got good news that the baby's doing really well yesterday, but everything is kind of backlogged. You know, all the stuff that I would have known already um, is a little bit backlogged. So I think we'll know in about a week and then we'll, we'll, of course, I'll have to let my kids know and then I'll let everybody else know. How did you tell the kids about the pregnancy? My kids kind of, especially Carmen, she, she got it. I mean, my, my boys are so little that they, they don't really get it. What and was her reaction? Yeah. Oh, she's so excited. She was like, oh my God, I got another baby brother or sister. I'm so excited. <laughs> it is a crazy time to be pregnant. How have you been feeling though? Have you had any cravings or anything this time around? No, I'm not fun like that. I wish I had the cravings. <laughs> I, I think I'm so busy right now with homeschooling and with working and doing all these things from home and cooking and doing just all the, the uh, and doing it all the time. Um, I think I haven't been able to think about how I feel as much as like other times around because um, I don't have too many solitary moments. <laughs> but, um, but no, I mean, everything is positive. Everything is really good. So that's what's important. Yeah, for sure. And how is Alec doing? What is, is he doing anything that he's like doing at home that he normally wouldn't do? Uh, he's been cooking for me a couple times, but he's somebody, he does dishes a lot. Like, he does a lot of stuff that I think if you, before I knew him, it would have surprised me that he does. Oh, that's so nice to hear. What did he cook for you? He's up. Uh, so he, he's a two trick pony. He either <laughs> makes an omelet or a stir fry, but they're okay. both delicious. I'm sure you've influenced them to be a lot healthier than they used to be though. <laughs> yeah, they're very healthy, lots of vegetables, you know, it's like with olive oil, like it's all very, it's all very healthy. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.